Welcome to eHealth Week. This is the 10th of, of May. Uh, we're in uh, Budapest, Hungary, uh, at uh, ePractice uh, Parallel Sessions. And uh, we will be interviewing Mr. Peter Raymakers from uh, Flanders Care, uh, as he was one of the speakers of the Developing Ideas for the Active and Healthy Aging Innovation Partnership, which was one of the parallel sessions during the workshop. So welcome, Mr. Raymakers. And we would like to ask you, uh, what are the current barriers in developing innovative solutions and which opportunities do you see emerging in the field of active and healthy aging? Well, I think it is uh, kicking in an open door that uh, demand and supply uh, do not meet uh, in an optimal way. So mm -hmm. uh, first thing we have to do is, I think, uh, uh, implement measures that uh, bring both together. That means uh, forming platforms, that, mean, that means uh, uh, organizing workshops like these, that means uh, kicking off the partnership into a real um, a pragmatic uh, uh, platform where everyone can have his uh, say. So I'm quite uh, pleased to have workshops like this uh, being organized because it, uh, uh, you end up with uh, very suitable and very practical ideas to move along with. Mm -hmm. That's great, we're happy to be here uh, as yeah. well. <laughs> so in the recent public uh, consultation uh, of EAP, one of the respondents' proposals for action was that the EAP should address the lack of support on innovation in order to bridge the gaps between public and private actions uh, and instruments. So what actions are needed to bridge these discrepancies, do you think? Well, that's actually one of the major uh, issues that we face on a regional level as well. It, uh, is an enormous problem of uh, evaluating technologies uh, using the criteria that you have uh, set for yourself, uh, quality of care, economic development, uh, innovativeness. And the problem uh, uh, increases when you just uh, uh, increase uh, the geographical scale. You cannot just simply extrapolate something that you measure in Flanders to be uh, exactly the same thing in Holland, uh, let alone in mm -hmm. Scandinavia or uh, somewhere in, uh, in Italy. So uh, gathering evidence, gathering things that motivate people on taking the same solution in, other in another region, that is uh, something that uh, we don't have a grasp on uh, for the moment. Mm -hmm. And that's why I think we need to think of uh, uh, European uh, scale uh, uh, ways of uh, assessing, evaluating uh, care technology uh, mm -hmm. so that we each know what uh, the benefits and uh, the possible uh, issues are with uh, possible solutions. So that's the way forward? I think that is the way forward. Uh, we try and uh, come to an assessment procedure within our regional context but that is worth nothing if there is not a connection to your uh, global or at least European market. Mm -hmm. Okay, and uh, a third question. Uh, many respondents to the recent public consultation, again on EIP, on active and healthy aging, point towards the lack of or scattered evidence in sufficient quality and quantity uh, of innovative solutions. So, based on this fact, is there any evidence on good practice cases? And if there is, how can we possibly raise more awareness on them? Well, I think there's a, a lot of uh, good um, uh, projects being developed within care institutions, within academia and so on, but uh, what you do see is that uh, large-scale implementations are scarce, mm -hmm. that they are dependent on uh, the care system uh, of the region which is uh, implementing them, so we need a bit of more transparency in that. Mm -hmm. uh, the way uh, those uh, large-scale implementations are rolled out, for example, uh, why on or to what extent uh, the polit political level was involved, uh, what uh, regulatory frameworks uh, had to be changed uh, and so on. Those uh, are aspects that are not really communicated uh, for the moment uh, throughout Europe, but uh, it's they're all essential in uh, having a region-wide uh, impact mm -hmm. uh, in the end, because what we want is not uh, just coming up with a good idea, you want to implement the idea over your whole uh, region. That's why you want to involve industry, that's why you want to involve uh, academia, 
you also want the tools in hand and you also want to know if I make an investment that's the right investment and in the care sector that is a difficult ordeal. Okay, thank you for being with us today. No problem. And from uh, Budapest, Hungary uh, and the e-practice parallel sessions, thank you for being with us.